Hey guys, I just finished reading uh, The Rose and the Dagger by um, Renee Audier, which is the second book in the, um, the uh, <laughs> Wrath of the Dawn duology. I must say this book was so much better than the first book. I have to give this book five out of five stars. Like, it was a lot better than the first, and I really enjoyed it I'm not gonna lie I really liked it um Shahrazad was still slightly annoying but like that's her character whatever but I did really enjoy the book and I thought it was really good it was so much better than the first one no shortcuts were taken and I think the characters were definitely flushed out and very well developed and I really enjoyed it so yeah and I, I can't I'm excited to talk about it I can't wait um so I'm gonna get back onto the. I'm gonna get back to. I'm gonna get to the review words. I'm gonna get to the review. So here we go. I'm so excited. Hey guys, it's me Jessica, and today I'm doing a review for *The Rose and the Dagger* by Renee Audier. This is the last book in the *Wrath and the Dawn* duology, and I'm giving this book a five out of five out of five stars this book was fantastic so much better than the first one and I think it's better than the first one because I lowered my expectations so much because the first one was so bad that I really enjoyed this one I do have a few issues with it but I mean I enjoyed it a lot more than the first that I'm still surprised that it's yeah mm-hmm whatever um so this book kind of picks up right where the first book left off and it is fantastic and I really recommend you guys reading it if you haven't read the wrath uh, the wrath and the dawn just kind of suffer through it just suffer through it to get to this book because this book is a lot better or just don't read it at all I don't know I don't care I'm going into spoilers now so spoilers here we go so Shahrazad still is annoying to me she will always be annoying to me. That's something I've come to accept about Shahrazad, that she's just gonna be annoying. Her sister, I really like her sister's progression as a character, um, and that's very much thank to, thanks to um, the guy she ends up falling in love with, who starts with an R, what's his name? His name starts with an R. But basically, her character growth, I think, is because of Shahrazad kind of annoying, of like, forgetting her and like not talking to her, and also because of this character that she does fall in love with. And, I mean, I am a little happy that he died, but I also, like, killing him was the easy route because it's like, you're not going to kill any other character that's important. You're going to kill a character that we just finally come to, to love, and then you're just going to kill him, and then you're not going to kill any other character because then you've already done one death that's going to make us hurt, so you don't have to do another. So that was basically her, Renee Audier's thinking when writing this book. Like, everyone, I feel like everyone was safe. Even when Khalid died in, died in the end, I was like, mm, he's coming back to life. There's, there's no way. Well, okay, for a split second, I really thought Khalid had died. I was like, no, you did not kill him. Like, no. And then, and then he's alive because um, Shahrazad's father sacrificed himself to bring back her love. Because he's like, I've never seen Shahrazad cry or be in this emotional distress as I have now. And he kind of realizes that um, power isn't as great as having the ones you love be happy. So I think that was a great message to give and I really enjoyed that message. Um, there was one thing that pissed me off and I can't let it go right now. The one thing that pissed me off is how they broke the curse because it just, there was an uneasy feeling about this, like, just destroying the book was gonna break the curse and also get rid of this whole book problem and I'm just gonna take my hair out real quick. And I was... I thought that was a little ridiculous. I was like, mm, there's, there's got to be a catch here. I thought we were going to have like a second bad guy show up and the second bad guy was going to be um, What's-His-Face's aunt who we saw and who was being kind of a little bit of a, of a not nice person. I thought she was going to be like the secondary bad guy that we had to fight so we had like two bad guys and like one army against an another army and this witch and it was not going to go well. Well we all thought it was not going to go well. That's what I was hoping was going to happen but it just it wasn't like that which was a little weird because I felt like she was setting it up to be like that and then just like okay I felt like she's like okay I just need to get this curse thing out of the way and this book thing out of the way so we can get to the more important thing which is this war that's gonna happen with the um 
with the Sultan and so the book was just kind of a throwaway and so was the curse um, so there was like one thing that annoyed me and that was that I was like mm, don't do that you had a really great thing going I, I like Tarquin's kind of journey throughout the book he um, he realizes that Shahrazad doesn't love him anymore and doesn't want to be with him and he he like he still cares about her and he still loves her so he tries and does his best to take care of her and I think that's very sweet of him and he does it kind of like he just he doesn't look happy that he's helping her out because I mean he also knows that um Khalid killed his cousin Sh uh, uh, Shiva and that kind of stuff so yeah but I like how Khalid was like you get three shots one for your cousin one for your mom and then one for you um, and then he didn't take any of them and then uh, Khalid was like that that was the only chance you ever got so don't don't ever try and kill me again and I was like mm, Khalid you are like the best I really enjoyed that um Tarquin's journey was like a little strange but I also kind of liked it because he went from from like realizing that what he's doing is wrong and that the person he's going up against he cannot win he, you cannot beat Khalid I'm just saying um, another thing that really um, that really pissed me off a little was the whole Despina kind of arc thing that happened like she leaves with what's his face they get married and um, she's gone for like the rest of the book for almost the rest of the book she's gone and I'm wondering where is Despina and what's his face did she did like Renee Audie I just want to get rid of them like she didn't know what to do with them so she was like leave get out of my face and then Despina shows up at the end and she's the Sultan's daughter one of the Sultan's daughter and I was freaking I was like no no, and I totally believed her whole charade that she was being, that she was the Sultan's daughter and that she hated um, Shahrazad. I, I, I totally thought that was real. And then she's thrown down into the dungeon and um, yeah, I, I, I was really, I really like that scene. I really like what she did with Despina and I really like how Despina and um, Jalal are together now and how that Despina really does love Jalal and Jalal really does care and love Despina. I really love that a lot. Um, Jalal did piss me off a little bit but he was valid in telling Khalid that I'm not gonna watch your back anymore because like Jalal but Jalal doesn't really have a right to be that angry because he didn't tell Khalid who specifically was carrying his child. I mean, if he told, uh, if Jalal told Khalid that it was Despina that ha was carrying his child, he would have not, under any circumstances, allowed uh, Despina to marry what's his face. Like, oh, that was like, mm, a communication, like miscommunication there, and that was a little ridiculous. But, um, otherwise, I think the book was just great, and I'm glad, I really wish there was actually a conversation between Jalal and Khalid kind of reconciling their relationship, um, I wish that was there, I wish there was a conversation because I feel like that relationship is important to Khalid, no matter how much he tries to, like, um, hide it, I guess, I don't know, um, so yeah. <laughs> I really enjoyed the book. I really, um, Shazi is still annoying. And then what was that, that guy, the one character's name? The one who does all the magic. Um, Artin? Um, Artin? Artin? Yeah, Artin. Um, he, I didn't really get his character. Like, I got while he was there, and I was like, did she just not want to utilize the, the other character that has magic that she brought in the first book, like, um, Khalid's tutor, or his mother's tutor, like, why didn't she utilize him? Why'd you have to, like, introduce a whole nother character and kind of just forget about the character that you introduced in the first book? Like, that annoyed me just a little bit because I didn't understand why she did that. I mean, I think she did it so then she could have that character that kind of stands up to Shahrazad and the fact that they're both kind of witty because she thinks she's sarcastic and funny well not funny but just like sarcastic and witty and she's not at all she annoys me oh I hate her okay anyway um but yeah that's pretty much it uh I don't really have anything else to say do I have anything else to say hmm the climax let's talk about the climax I was a little disappointed in the fact that there wasn't a huge battle I was waiting for a battle I wanted a battle um but I don't know I haven't read Renee Audier's other 
book uh, or books. So I can't really say for sure that she's good at writing um, action sequences because there's not a lot of action sequences within the first and this book as well. So it's a little difficult to tell if she can write action sequences or if she's comfortable in writing them. 